Hey everybody, Matt Mayhem here. Today I'm going to be giving my review of South Park, The Stick of Truth. South Park, The Stick of Truth is what happens when you mix an episode of South Park with Lord of the Rings and Skyrim and then throw in a turn-based RPG. You get this beautiful game that looks exactly like the TV series and has all of the crude humor mixed in with adventure making you wonder what's going to happen next. The game starts with you playing as a new kid in town, out to find new friends, which leads to you participating in an RPG with all of the local kids. Now the game works just like most traditional role-playing games, in the sense that you receive quest items from different NPCs that send you off on an adventure to slay different beasts or collect items. In return, you get experience points that level you up and unlock new abilities. You also get loads of vanity items so that you can customize your character in whatever way you see fit. The combat system in the game is your classic turn-based combat, allowing you to select an attack, magic ability, special ability, or item that you want to be performed. What makes the combat system different in this game is that you're forced to press a button sequence at a specific time for it to work. Once you get used to the timing though, killing your foes comes pretty easy. When out of combat, the music and sounds of this game sound amazing and make you feel like you're really on an epic adventure. And all the different little remarks that the townspeople make are pretty funny and add to the story. But after a while, they can become pretty repetitive. All of the voice acting sounds exactly like it does in the TV series, and the music sounds like something out of an adventure movie. As I played through the game, I found there to be more and more quests that they put in just to make the game last longer, and I really didn't feel like it added to the story. And like to go retrieve an item from this person, and then this person needs you to perform a task before they would help you, and so on and so on, eventually making you forget what you were doing in the first place. When playing through the game, you'll find yourself laughing at all the crude jokes and situations that you're put in. But beware, this game does have a lot, and I mean a lot, of adult humor in it. There's no profanity or censorship filter in the game, because if they did, there would only be half of a game. Hey, over here! If you're ever traveling, Photo Dojo has a great deal on passport photos. My overall experience with South Park to Stick of Truth was really good, extremely humorous, fun, and entertaining with a little bit of repetitiveness but not very much replay value. I would recommend this game to any adult who's a big fan of RPGs, South Park, or just wants something to play that's casual and entertaining. From using the toilet to make ammo to a full-on sexual intercourse scene to having to abort a fetus, this game has it all. If you liked the video today, please like, follow, and share. Also, leave a comment below of what you thought about the video and any suggestions you have on other games you'd like to see in the channel. And don't forget to check out my Twitter, Facebook, and Twitch channels where I live stream the next game I'll be reviewing. Once again, this is Matt Mayhem, and see you next time.